Hello, everybody. Hang on. Let me turn this up a little. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Dragon Ball Z Kai 2014, episode 18. Just so you know, as of this recording, I have gotten up to episode... 27, I think? Let me look real quick, just to make sure that I'm actually giving you right information. Because I recorded some yesterday. Let's see. I was wrong, that was episode 27. I guess I was wrong. Episode 26 is the last one I did. Okay. So currently we have 40 episodes left. Before we're done with Kai and we get on to Super. Yay! And once I get all those videos edited, I'm going to try to binge record reviews. Because then I can get them all uploaded as much as I can. So for those of you who are subscribed to me, also go and join the Discord. Because you're only going to get three notifications a day. And if I was to upload, let's say, ten reviews for reactions or whatever, you are only going to get three of those. So if you want to get all of them, join the Discord. Because then you're going to be able to get all of them. Anyway, um... So far, we are inching ever closer to the 1,000 subscriber goal. Here's hoping we can get there at the latest uh, a year from now, I guess. That'd be great if we could. Hey, it'd be great if we could get it sooner, but I'm not going to be... Um, don't go and uh, subscribe with multiple accounts because that's just not going to help me in the long run. Anyway... Dragon Ball Z Kai, episode 18. <sighs> um, this episode is Vegeta versus Quickly and Goku versus Yakon. As you can probably expect, the Supreme Kai really underestimates what uh, the two can do. Or rather, what uh, Goku and Vegeta can do. He has no clue how strong these guys really are. Because if he did, he probably wouldn't be near as worried unless they were facing like Deborah or something. Because then they might have a little bit of a hard time. Anyway. Let's see, nothing there. Alright. Sorry, I was checking my email. Let's see if I had any new posts. Um. Let's see. And nothing good either. Alright. Sorry. Anyway, I'm currently watching um, Boma and Goten play Would You Rather. Do you guys want me to do Would You Rather stuff? And if so, do you want me to do it with somebody else? If you do, it would have to be somebody like on Discord or I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, Vegeta has no problem defeating Quickly, even when they, he, Bobbity transports him to the guy's planet, which is under ten times Earth's gravity. Oh, that's not gonna slow down Vegeta in the slightest, because Vegeta has been training in, I think, 150 times gravity last I checked. He's probably got up since then, so, yeah, it ain't gonna affect him at all. And he easily takes down Quickly because of this. He doesn't really even get a challenge, which is very... probably very annoying to him. Anyway, they head down to the next level, and, uh, yeah, Bobbity is trying to figure out what's going on, because apparently, according to him, there was not supposed to be anybody that strong on this planet. And apparently, Deborah and them had checked 300 years ago. If you're going to do something like this and you don't know if there's anybody strong enough on this planet that can stop you, check, like, the past day and then see if there's anybody. Because I'm sure that that's, the, that's why their planet is failing because their information isn't accurate, essentially. Anyway, Goku goes against the next guy. What is a demon call? A demon, I don't know if it's a demon, but some kind of creature called Yakon. 
and anyway, uh, um, dang it, what was I trying to say? Anyway, uh, he transports Goku and them to Yakon's home planet, which apparently is on the furthest out reaches of the universe. Like, the furthest out you can go, I guess. And that planet is dark. But Goku solves that because he goes Super Saiyan and his aura provides a light. He's like, I have a light wherever I go so the dark doesn't scare me. And apparently we find out that Yakon is a creature that feeds on light. And uh, Goku goes back to Super Saiyan form even knowing this. And I had a feeling that he was going to possibly overfeed him because that's essentially what Kuwabara does in... The Saint Beast arc in Yu Yu Hakusho where he faces off against, uh, dang it, I don't remember the guy, the character's name, but one of the tiger beast and he feeds on energy and Kuwabara just lets him eat, eat, eat his energy until he just bursts and that's essentially what happens to Yakon. He goes boom. Cause he over ate. And yeah, Babidi's getting out of options. So, Goodness, the only person I can think of that can send out next at this point is Deborah, unless he's got somebody else that we don't know of. So, yeah, this is not um, going well for Bobbity. Here's hoping it continues to go in that direction because we don't want Majin Buu to get out. And again, I know what ends up happening for the most part. So. I'm essentially at the point, I'm not spoiling what happens, but yeah, like I said, I'm at episode 26, next episode I do is episode 27. Anyway, I will see everybody next time.